Welcome to Houston, Texas and Minute Maid Park. The show brings you Diamond Dynasty Baseball. So just about set, and now it's going to be Jorge Mateo. Leading off the afternoon for Baltimore. The pitch. The second baseman, Jorge Mateo. Trying to bunt his way on. And that's just foul. Next offering down in the dirt. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And into the box for Baltimore. Cedric Mullins. Cedric Mullins. In there and it's 0-1. No score just getting started. Top of the first. Next offering is downstairs. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Gonna count one and two. Next pitch just misses. Two and two. Got him. Two outs, bases empty. So next to hit for Baltimore, Ryan Mountcastle. Ryan Mountcastle. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. And a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. And takes low for ball one. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Next one off the plate inside. And it's two and two. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup. Third out, and that ends the frame. Here's Trey Turner. shortstop. And a pitch. Turner. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And that's the first out. Next to hit, Ricky Henderson. Good contact guy, good defender. And he swings and misses the offering. Kicks and deals. Comes up empty. That's strike two. And if there's one man you want to keep off the base paths, it's this guy right here, Ricky Henderson, the undisputed stolen base king. Rutschman fires over to first. And here this afternoon, too quickly away in the bottom of the first. Well, maybe approaching this at bat with a bit too much determination. Sometimes you just got to let the game come to you. The 1-1. One -one. Swing and a miss. It's a ball and two strikes. Ronald Acuna Jr., a guy who burst on the scene in 2018. He was only 20 years old, and he is one of the great talents in baseball right now. Two two. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Of the left fielder, Austin Hayes. The left fielder, and the pitch. Austin Hayes. That misses, ball one. Next offering is way upstairs. Next one misses, and now three and oh. In for a strike, now three and one. Foul ball there. And a payoff pitch. Next offering popped in the air, right field. And makes the grab. Trey Mancini now. 
Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. First offering, misses the mark. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. The catcher, number 35, Adley Rutschman. Adley Rutschman in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Next pitch is downstairs. Second inning here, no score. Next offering is in for a strike. Next one misses, and that's ball three. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The pitch. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Rafael Devers, the third baseman. Rafael Devers. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Owen oh, 2 as he waves at that one. Another 0 2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. Got him looking. Down on strikes, and he knew it. The Here's field. the center fielder, yeah. Ken Griffey Jr. Griffey. And it's fouled Junior. away. No score here in the second. <laughs> Next offering misses, and it's a ball and a strike. With Jr., probably one of the sweetest swings we have ever seen, and certainly as signature a swing as any player has ever had. Left-hand batter waits. Stays alive. The next pitch misses. Counts full, three and two. And he walked him. Second baseman, Jackie second Robinson. Baseman. Jackie Robinson. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Mountcastle makes the catch, two away down. No, oh, that was a pitch you got to crush. That Unbelievable that. that he missed the it catcher. right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself oh, until his next man. at bat. To third. And he grabs it, foul. Wells throws over. Junior dives back in safely. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. This one squared up down the left field line. If it's fair, it's gone. It's fair, and it is gone. Salvador Perez leaves the yard, and they add a pair. It's 2 nothing. And now the first baseman, Trey Mancini. Batting it. The first baseman. In there for strike one. Mancini. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Righty delivers. And 1-2. And Ground ball up the middle. Sneaks through, base hit. And that keeps the inning going.
Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. So impressive that he didn't get tied up or jammed on that pitch inside. Instead, good quick hands allowed him to get the barrel to it, just shoot it up the middle of the field for that knock. Nestor Cortez Jr. swings through one there. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Very well executed changeup right there. If he can command the fastball consistently, that's going to be an important pitch in terms of him turning this outing around. Tapped softly on the ground. Fires across the diamond. Third out. Top half of the third inning. Rugnet Odor comes up to the plate now. Cortez back to work. Swings and misses. 0-1. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Line to left. Takes it in for the out. And next for the Orioles, Ramon that Urias. Is. The shortstop, Ramon Urias. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well struck left field. That one's got a chance. And out of here. It's 2-1. And here is Tyler Wells. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And a swing and a miss there. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. That's hard hit in the line. And Ricky Henderson the grab. Two down. Jorge Mateo now. Now batter. Second baseman. Jorge Mateo. First offering. Misses the mark. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. One, two now. And now two and two. Swing and a miss. That's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on. See if you can get a stolen base. Maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Down the middle for a strike. That's strike one. Here comes a pinch. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. And it beats him for the first out after the drop third strike. Just not a good pitch to swing at. One reason he's an everyday player is he usually lays off of that jump. Henderson now at the plate as he swings through strike one. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher maybe double up on a pitch. This guy will throw it three times, four times in a row because hitters just can't lay off of it. Fires over to first. That's the second out. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. His first at bat was a strikeout. First offering misses badly for ball one. Clearly didn't come out of his hand the right way. Left that curveball way up. Bounce to third. Sends it to first. Cedric Mullins. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-1. Swing and a miss. Oh, and he lost the handle on that one. The 0-2. Got him looking. Now one away. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. Struck out swinging his first time. And that one fouled off. The why to kick the pitch. That one misses, and it's one and one. Swing and a miss, and a count one and two. And here it comes. That misses, 
And the count is even two and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now two away. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Austin Hayes. Over one, he flat out to right this first trip. First offering, and it just misses. On the ground, right side. Can't glove it cleanly. So two down. So next to hit for Baltimore. Trey Mancini. He's 0 for 1. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Next offering way off the plate. And now two and one. Well, he came right at it right there. Challenged him with the 2-0 fastball. Not sure exactly what he was looking for, but got to imagine that's a Well, got to pause on that thought. The third baseman. And the right-hander back to work. There's the strike. Well, he's looking great so far. Helps with over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. 0-2 as he waves at that one. Really consistent release point. He's been able to pitch up and down and have excellent command at both locations. The one two. That's off the mark. And that's ball two. Stays alive. On the ground at first. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. One out in the bottom of the fourth. So digging in, Ken Griffey Jr. He walked and came around to score his first time up. Junior. Up the middle, Urias collects it. The throw is wild and it gets away. The batter, the second baseman, Jackie Robinson. High fly ball, right field. Mancini has a beat on it. Makes the catch. Runner tags it second, and he moves up to third. Now two away. And here is Salvador Perez. He's already homered in this game. He swings and fouls one off. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yep, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets out. And the 0-2. And the pitch is outside, ball one. Junior at third with two away. Swing and a miss. Adley Rutschman. The catcher, Adley First pitch doesn't find the zone. Next offering is in for a strike. The 1-1. One, one. And another ball. And there's a ball. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Swing and a ball popped up and base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Now oh, just a nice job coming through and a pretty high leverage spot right there. But the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a lawn dart in there, and he found a way. Now, Rubnet Odor. And there's a foul ball. Left hand hitter waits. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Everyone here understands just how quickly things could change. 
with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. Next offering is foul back. Nobody out, runner at first. Grounded to third, could be two. Goes to second for one on a Mancini, two. Two outs, base is empty. Ramon Urias, the next to hit for the Orioles. And the first pitch misses in the dirt. Next offering upstairs. 2 0. In the air, right field. And Acuna able to make the grab. The first baseman, Trey Mancini. Swings through that one. That's one of those swing now before the pitchers even let go of the baseball. Next pitch is outside. Line drive, caught. Next to hit will be the pitcher. Nestor, pinch hitter coming on. Juan Soto looking to start something with one gone. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every bat. And first offering is fouled off. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, Juan Soto had a huge 2021 season, just one point shy of a thousand for OPS. Absolutely a month. Ah, now this ball splits the gap in right center. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. Tried to get inside on him, but he was ready for no it. Just kept six. his hands in and Your turned turn. on the pitch. Right. Quick bat through the zone. Turner, the next to hit, takes ball one. Next pitch has popped up. Whips it to Mountcastle, and they get Turner for the out. At the play, Ricky Henderson. Number 24, Ricky Henderson. Rolled over to third, dives, but it kicks off his glove. He doesn't have a play, and he reaches safely. The right field, First and third, 13. two away. Here's Acuna now. Acuna. Junior. Next offering is down low. 1-0. Oh. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Next pitch misses, two and one. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. Base hit and a run into score. Back to back base hits. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going now to the opposite it. field. Third and it three. doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did. And he cut this it. ball well hit, left center field, and that splits the gap. One run across. Oh, he throws it away. In to score from first, and they lead by four. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing yeah, around right good. there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. New pitcher on here, Bo Solcer. A runner on second to deal with. He'll do his best to keep him there. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he needed a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Now so two down now. And base. here is Jackie, Jackie Robinson. Robinson. And first offering is fouled off. Corners are occupied with two down.
Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Next one is off the plate. One and two to count. Got him. New pitcher now, Drew Pomeranz. And he'll work on holding this lead. Pinch hitting for the order. Number 25. Eddie Dean. Anthony Santander. That misses. Ball one. Next offering upstairs. The 2 1. Late with the swing there. And down on strikes. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the six. So back to the top of the Orioles lineup. Digging in, Jorge Mateo. First pitch, not close. Next offering is foul back. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Now Next for the Orioles, Cedric Mullins. Cedric. That one fouled off. And the one. And he lays down a bunt. And he picks it up in foul territory. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And down on strikes he goes. And a pitch. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Fooled on that pitch, got a little anxious. Comes up empty on the swing, 0 oh, 2 now. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. One away. Bottom of the sixth. Stepping in. Trey Mancini. One for two. Mancini. This to third. Odor. Over to pick it up. Slings it across. Two up, two down. Pitch hitter coming on now in the pitcher spot. Ozzy Albies looking for a two out spark, but the base is empty. Pinch hitter. Ozzy. Albies. First offering misses the mark. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. And it bangs up against the wall. And he's got a double. Back to the top of the lineup. Trey Turner with a chance now. No batter number six. Shortstop. First pitch just misses. Fought off foul. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. It's a 1-1. One -one. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Mullins makes the catch.
Welcome it. back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the map, Michael King. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. I'm just keeping it real. Nobody knows how I feel. And now the first baseman, Ryan Mountcastle, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. The first base the pitch. Number six. Ryan. Ball one, no strikes. Next one misses, and the count is 2 0. Oh. The 2 0 oh is in for a strike. Swings and misses. Two and two. Right hander kicks, deals. That one misses, and it's three and two. Slow roller to third. To first, but it pulls him off the bag. And now it's Austin Hayes. The batter, the left fielder. Next pitch downstairs, and that's ball one. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. Squirts away a little bit. He's in there. No outs. Runner on second. That's out to center field. Junior drifts towards it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one away. Safe at second. Trey Mancini, the next to hit for the Orioles. Next offering is down low. And that is ball one. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. On the ground. Oh, the throw is over his head. Here's the catcher, Adley Rutschman. And he's already singled in this game. First pitch, and he just misses. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. On the ground, could be two. Toss to Mancini. Rutschman retired. Rubnet Odor, the next to hit for the Orioles. And that's in there for strike one. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. And the righty deals. Going to count one and two. Mancini stands at second with two gone. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Out number three. And stepping in is the speedy Ricky Henderson. Ricky. The right-hander back to work. And there's the strike. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Number 13. Ronald Acuna. Junior. On the ground to the left. And it goes just foul. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. From a pitcher's perspective, that's a beautiful splitter right there. As a hitter, you don't like it. But he's commanded his fastball, and out of that same tunnel, that splitter comes, and the bottom just falls out of it. Slow to get out of the box, and he's tagged the for the out. Your best way you let the game come to you. Tried to make too much happen right there. Not his best at bat. Devers in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. And Devers hits that one. Mullins makes the catch. And 
over the top of the eight and into the box for Baltimore Ramon Urias and the pitch misses off the plate ball one got to keep things airtight defensively right here on your toes ready to make a play if you can get this to the ninth with a three run lead it should be a W here's a one one next offering is outside. Good eye right there. 3 1 now. On the ground, right side. In plenty of time. The first leadoff man is out here in the eighth. The Orioles making a move for a pinch hitter. Kyle Stowers. One out, the base is empty for him. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Next one off the plate inside. Two balls, no strikes to count. And the right hander deals. Swing and a miss. Two and one now. Swing and a miss. Two and two now. Next pitch is outside. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. The punch out there, and to Elena. Here's the Orioles' leadoff hitter, Jorge Mateo. So it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead, because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Strike two. It's been a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. The next offering misses. The count now two and two. Here's a two two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The 2 2. Got him. Number 49. The pitch. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. And the pitch. Stays alive. At the belt and fires. Bounce to the left side. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Now it's the second baseman, Jackie the Robinson. Second baseman, Jackie Robinson. First offering misses the mark. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. One down, base is empty. Check swing went around. And the count is one and two. Kicks and deals. See the velocity 97 with that fastball. The pitch. Light drive. Calls it in. And there's two away. Two outs, bases empty. Now and now it's Salvador Perez Salvador. to the plate. Perfect. And a foul ball left side. Out to short. Tosses to first. That's the third out. 
the center fielder. Cedric. Yohan Duran on a pitch out of the pen here. Uh, this guy can bring it velocity wise. And here it comes. This is outside, and it's one to know. Duran. Pretty much every manager's dream coming out of the pen. High strikeout, low walk. That is a recipe for success. Ryan Mountcastle, the next to hit for the Orioles. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, for a manager, when you can have that one special arm in the bullpen that you know is just reliable, tell you what, that makes his job a whole lot easier to manage a ball club. And a foul ball. The 2 1. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. And as a hitter, are you thinking swing from pitch one? I'm trying to get comfortable. I'm trying to recognize what's he got today? What's he going to throw? How's he going to come at me? Try to get as much intel as you possibly can to give yourself a chance to succeed. In the air, foul off first. That's the ball game. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting. Runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. And your final score, 5-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.